It's the weekend and what happens on the weekend, most of us go into self-sabotage mode. We start to eat one chicken finger from the kid's dish, which turns into us ordering a McDouble, which then leads to an extra large pizza at night. No, I'm just kidding. Unless that is you, I am talking to you, I'm thinking of somebody, and that actually did happen. But what ends up happening on the weekends is that we sabotage all of our gains during the week. Doesn't mean that life is over, but there is a way that you can prepare for the weekend and I got the three ways for you. So number one is that you need to balance out your calories. Number two is fasting protocol. And number three, we need to use the eyeball method. All right, when it comes to the weekends and you don't wanna self-sabotage yourself and lose all the gains that you had Monday through Friday, the very first thing that you need to do is balance out your calories prior. Now I would tell you the easier way is to balance out your calories prior and after. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that you're allowed 2,000 calories for a day in order for you to lose that one to two pounds per week. So what I would do is take off a thousand calories prior. You might be hungry Friday and take the thousand calories after. So you might be hungry on Sunday, but on Saturday, you just gave yourself a 2000 calorie budget. Now you're like, RJ, that seems like a lot of food. 4,000 calories when you get into that charcuterie board or that extra large pizza, it's going to add up very quickly and you're going to be happy that I gave you this technique. But you can always create a level of balance. Now you don't have to go as extreme as 1,000 calories prior and 1,000 calories after, but you can do 500 calories on Friday and 500 calorie cut on Sunday, which is going to give you a 1,000 calorie bonus. It's like saving money for something big that you want to buy. Number two is that you can do a deeper fast, right? We've gone hungry before, okay? We've been really full. Now sometimes we need to go a little bit hungry. And what does that mean? Is that maybe you push your fast into a later time. So instead of just waking up and eating whenever you want, just randomly eating food, if you have this big meal at 8 p.m., maybe you don't eat Saturday until 4 p.m., and maybe you don't actually eat food. Maybe you just focus on blending up a green shake so that you're getting the nutrients from the greens, but then you have one, two, three, even four protein shakes from 4 p.m. until you actually go in to have that meal, which then, those are very minimal calories, so you're gonna have a big flexibility for that big meal. So fast as long as you can, get your protein in you, get your greens in you, and then go ahead and enjoy that meal. And last but not least, is that you need to eyeball your food. Now you might not be able to weigh it and have a food scale, but you can look at it, and a lot of times, whatever restaurant you go to, if you go restaurant, bacon double burger, and you type that in, there's a good chance that it's in your tracker. And when you track that in, you're gonna plug it in. And then you're gonna have the fries. Then you're gonna have a glass of wine. And you're gonna be able to see, you're gonna look at your budget. It's like having somebody put $100 in front of you, and slowly they kept sliding out little bits of the money, and you see your stack go like this. You're gonna look at the calories that you're consuming, and you're gonna be like, all right, maybe I should stop and just enjoy the environment that I'm in, the friendship that I'm in, what I actually came for. I didn't come to binge eat. I came to eat and enjoy the conversations or whatever the, the event is. So focus on eyeballing, plugging into your food. So there we have it guys. That's how I'm gonna help you not sabotage this upcoming weekend. I need you to balance out your calories prior and after, or just prior if you don't have that control after. Number two is that you do it bigger fast. So consider doing a 20 hour fast, which shortens your window to eat. And number three is that you need to eyeball and plug in all of your food. Now, if you're looking to get started guys, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Send us a message and we'll get you started today.